where where are we today? Um, well, today, right now, we're in Taramina, um, overlooking the uh, overlooking the sea, see, and having a late uh, late lunch. Give us a little lowdown. Of- you know, we uh, we kind of jet lagged and slept in uh, slept in late, mm-hmm. uh, but then we kind of explored a little bit. Uh, we're staying up. Um, on Mount Etna at Lingua Colosa, and um, we drove sort of down the mountain um, back from there, trying to look at various towns along the way. Uh, we stopped for a little while in uh, uh, Piedimonte um, and looked around there, and then we kept driving down. We went through um, uh, Giardini Naxos, which is down that way, um, and then we drove all the way up um, to the top of above Taramina to. Uh, uh, Castellamola. Castellamola. Yeah, and that was a, you know, kind of, <laughs> if you don't like driving next to the edge. A lot of hairpin turns. Yeah, it was you a did lot a good of job. hairpin turns. Thank you very much. The drive was exciting. Uh, the destination, you know, um, less so. But yep. then we uh, came back down to Taramino, where, where we've been before, and it's very nice to be here. It's a little bit quieter here in, the, you know, the end of February than uh, when we were here last in October. So we're narrowing down um, options in the Mount Etna era, area, and I kind of threw Taramina in because I missed it. And um, it's not as dead as I thought it was going to be, so it's, I'm glad we came. I'm glad to be back here. All right, update. Captain's lock. <laughs> not mm. all that much has changed, but we have uh, explored a little bit more around uh, Lingua Glossa, and uh, right now we're in the hill town of Presa. P-R-E-S-A. Yes. Uh, it's part of, I think, part of Piedimonte uh, Etna, at Nail. And um, I'm going to slowly turn, we're just, we, we went around, there's not many streets in this town. Just drive through different places um, and discover <laughs> a lovely little park here. There's a little tiny fountain. I mean, this is like a little stretch of land. We have there's a little puppy. Well, not a little puppy. It's a big dog sitting over there, just sitting in the sun. Um, it snowed yesterday. Uh, I don't know what altitude we're at where we're staying. Um, and today we got to make uh, some uh, homemade ricotta with a secret shepherd who I cannot reveal his whereabouts or else they will never let us come back. Um, but um, we had, we brought the warm ricotta home and had, we stopped at the bakery and got fresh um, bread and uh, uh, we had the hot ricotta, the warm ricotta on the fresh bread and drizzled it with chestnut honey that our Airbnb host, Nino, brought to us. The theme here in, in Italy is um, Everybody wants to help you. You just need to meet the right person. And so now we've got a we got a cheese guy, and um, and then we have a headlight out on our rental car. So now we got a car guy, uh, and we've only been here three days. What's we'll the We need a, I, I believe for realtor it's an im, immobiliare. Um, so now we just need to find that. Uh, <laughs> um, and an avocado, which is not the vegetable fruit. It is actually lawyers and all that stuff so one day we can figure out how to uh live here but i mean how can you not and trying to decide where i don't know if it's getting harder or easier not harder or easier mm, i mean i think that's yeah it's it's not clear so maybe it's harder <laughs> i think um i think i'm going to be better able to tell people why we want to move here I think I'm getting closer to some really good words. The only hard thing is that now everybody will want to come live with us because we'll, we'll tell them all the great things. Um, besides that, it's really easy to get a guy to do stuff and help you, and they're so nice. And I haven't met a not nice person yet. Not, yeah, but I haven't met him, so I must give off a vibe. So that's uh, where we are. Tomorrow we head to the city of Catania. Uh, which we have seen a little tiny bit of and um, we're going to meet up with uh, our friend there and um, we will probably drink a lot of wine. More from there. All right. 
But then, something a little unexpected happened. While staying in Catania, Jen and Matt went on a hike with their friends in a place that was currently off-limits from visitors. Outside the town of Noto, they found themselves wandering amongst old ruins in a field of grass, wild fennel, and asparagus more than half a meter high. All was well until Jen slipped on the dewy grass into a small hole and hurt her leg. After limping around the town of Marzamemi, visiting an organic farm, and dropping off one of the friends at the airport, Jen thought it was best to stop by the hospital to look at her leg. It was very broken, and so began the six-day stay in the hospital with surgery to repair her fibula. She was in surprisingly good spirits. Maybe it was the medication. We'll spare you the pictures of the titanium plate and eight screws holding her together and skip instead to a photo of Italian hospital food. After she was free, Jen and Matt continued on their journey in Ortigia after finding a new Airbnb on the first floor. The trip, while eventful, was still enjoyable, and Matt only dumped her out of the wheelchair once. By accident. If you didn't see our first video, check it out here. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell if you want to know when the next video comes out.